So here are a few exercises. Um, we got the pattern. Um, this one. This one. This one. Okay. <laughs> correct or not. And we have a closer look at this one right here and we'll just give you an example. So I will call that S and I will say that S D plus I is okay, the length is four and we end up with this, which is okay. Right, we got zero, one, two, three. So, so it, the rule number two applies here. And if we have a look at this one, the set will be three. Plus, I will just write down the set it's zero, one, and two. So, this is also valid. And the last. One here. Um, that's a more complicated one. I think this is going to turn out false because um, um, so I build up the same set like here, but with another uh, period, right? My period here is five, and. Um, so I start with 7, this is going to be a 2, 6 is going to be a 1, um, it's a 7, oh we already got 7, which is a problem, because it will end up to have the same landing beat here. Um, then there's 6, oh no we already got a 6, so um, 6 is going to end up being 1, and oh, there's a 7 again, so here is a 2 again. So this set does not fulfill rule number two because it's not it's not equal to zero, one, two, three, and four. Therefore, this is not a valid vanilla side swap. And those um, solutions you will see on the on the page. <coughs>